beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. Um, so I felt like filming something a little bit fun. Kind of sucks to film um, without my partner Rachel. She's always with me when I'm filming videos. So I just uh, I felt like filming something fun, but it's kind of hard to do by yourself. But she's here with me in spirit. So um, we're going to do um, a fun video, Google search. Um, the top four answers for when you search, um, why do my extensions, dot, dot, dot. And you know how, you know, they come up as a suggestion? I'm going to attempt to answer this question for you. So the first one was, <clears throat> why do my extensions tangle so easily? It's obviously a very difficult question to answer without any, uh, you know, background on the specific person. But in general, extensions are probably tangling easily because they're not good quality, unfortunately. A lot of times what happens is, um, if you're purchasing extensions that are a little bit um, cheaper, excuse me, for the most part are, uh, are, are like half synthetic maybe, or um, you know, just really not very good quality. Could be that it's not Remy hair and that the <clears throat> hair was collected kind of and just put together all in, you know, going in different directions. So in that case, they could tangle quite easily. Um, or it could be that you you've kind of dried them out, you know, with either like um, you know co coloring too much or um, too much heat on your extensions and kind of fried them, so all the moisture is gone. Mm. And typically, when the moisture is gone in your hair, your hair you know gets frizzy and tangles and tangles really easily. Another thing it could be is the weather, um, especially in the winter here in Canada. It's <clears throat> pretty bad like you know you're wearing your scarfs and the air the air is so dry and your hair feels brittle and and then you come out of the the car with the heat on and everything and then it's your hair's all like Phew. so it could be that um really does depend on the situation but usually like nine times out of ten it's because the hair qualities like if hair was really really great it probably wouldn't tangle on you that fast could also be that the hair is old could be that the hair is uh you know, it's time to change it. A lot of different things it could be, but um, the second one's funny. It made me laugh, and I don't know what I'm going to say to this one. So it's, why do my extensions smell? I don't know. Like, so like, do they smell? Like, when someone's typing that in, why do my extensions smell? Do they have their extensions in already? So like, they smell? <laughs> or like, the extensions come out of the package and they smell? So let's say they come out of the package and they smell. Could be... Um, the process, the chemical process, usually when the hair is collected, they, um, they, uh, they clean it and then they bleach it or they color it or whatever they do to it to get it to look beautiful, you know, one color. And, um, and then they apply like a silicone on top sometimes to keep it really soft and, you know, they treat it basically. So possibly, um, you know, you're smelling the treatment smell, like the chemical smell. Or I don't know why else they would smell. Uh, I'm not really sure. My extensions don't smell. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. Could be that, um, yeah, again, maybe the quality is, is bad and you, I don't know what you're smelling. Anyways, move on. Okay, next one. Why do my extensions itch? Now that um, is mainly, uh, you know, based in my opinion, it's mainly the um, attachment method, the way that they are. So sometimes when they're very tight, when they've been applied really tight and a lot of times it's like a weave, or um, or the beads, or you know any kind of method that has to be placed very very tight, uh, can cause itching for sure. Cause that tension on your scalp, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of that pulling sensation, after a while can get pretty irritating. And like a nice scratch feels fantastic. I must say the best part about removing extensions, like as a client, as someone who who actually has them in for a long time, I mean it sucks to take them out because then they're like, you know, you go from having all this hair and then all of a sudden it's gone and it's like, ah. Oh. But uh, being able to, like, scratch your head after is like, ugh, oh, it's, it's so nice. <laughs> it's like the best. <laughs> so anyways, whatever. So sometimes, you know, having all that tension on your, on your scalp can cause a bit of itchiness. And if your scalp is dry, that doesn't help. That actually makes it worse because dry scalp is always itching anyways. If extensions uh, are causing itchiness, I would suggest maybe getting a nice treatment on your scalp. Um, but beware, don't put the, the treatment on the actual extension um, 
method, like the bond or, or whatever it is, the attachment method, because uh, it could cause slippage. But on your actual scalp, maybe that would be nice, a nice treatment um, just to bring the moisture back to uh, soothe the itchiness. <laughs> and then the last thing uh, that came up was, why do my extensions keep falling out? Uh, and again, this is a really broad one too. It's really hard to say unless you know the, the background of the person who's asking this question. But there's so many reasons why the extensions can be falling out. <clears throat> Could be that they weren't applied correctly. A lot of times when extensions are applied and not enough um, of your natural hair is taken in as well, like with, with whatever attachment method it is, um, the extension really has nothing to grab, nothing to hold on to long term so it can slip out. Um, I mean, it's very, very common to be honest with you. It's very hard to keep in a full head, like, and not lose one the entire time, especially if you're keeping them in for months. It happens, you know. Sometimes you catch a tangle and you're combing and it slips out. Like, it's, it's just, it's part of the whole thing, you know. You just have to get used to that. But if it's like excessive and all of a sudden, um, you know, you get them and a week later they're all coming out, there's an issue for sure. So, it's hard to say exactly what the issue could be, but um, either again it wasn't applied correctly uh, or possibly water damage or when I say water damage I mean um, water getting into the bond and softening it up or into the the tapes if you have tapes or something like that and making them slip uh, could be that conditioner has done the same thing sometimes can, can conditioner can get in and make them slip or or I don't know so many other things really like again excessive tangling and then trying to comb them out putting so much tension, pulling them out. Um, yeah, if it's happening to you a lot, I would say either switch ladies <laughs> uh, or guys, whoever's doing your hair, uh, or um, you know maybe switch methods because it could be that that one specific method isn't really working for you. You know, if you have a lifestyle where you have to wash your hair a lot or you're sweating a lot and that moisture is causing the extensions to slip out, you know, go for another method. Go for something that isn't so uh, touchy when it comes to that kind of thing um you know or or whatever the case may be but uh yeah that's my that's my uh suggestions <laughs> that was my video of my google search i don't know if you guys like that i could do more there's like so many questions you can ask um put suggestions into uh, into the uh, the comments below and then maybe you know i'll do some more videos in the future it's kind of fun because it's on the fly I, I didn't know i didn't even know what these questions were so um kind of fun to read them out with you guys and uh, if you have any questions please comment below and if you are not a subscriber please hit subscribe there are tons of videos out there about extensions um, you know so hopefully see you guys again we'll see you soon <laughs> bye